Hey there, thank you so much for joining in today. I am Aditya Obrey, a Gold Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador and your host for this session. Today, the topic that we're going to discuss is Xamarin Forms. Now, in this session, I will talk about what Xamarin Forms is, what it essentially does, and how you can get started with Xamarin Forms and develop your very first application. So yeah, I hope you're just as excited as I am. Let's get started. Xamarin Forms is an open source cross-platform framework from Microsoft for building iOS, Android, and Windows apps with .NET from a single shared code base. What this essentially means is that you can create iOS app, iOS, Android, and Windows applications, and you can use the same logic in all three of those um, written using C Sharp and .NET. This is really, really cool because what this means is that you do not read, need to write the code thrice if you want to achieve the same goal from all three of these applications. And when we talk about iOS and Android, we're not just talking about mobile applications, um, be it Apple TV, watchOS, any of these smart devices, essentially, you can create the code, uh, the applications for all of these because anything that you can do with Java, Kotlin, Objective-C or Swift can be fulfilled using C-sharp and Xamarin. Now, when we consider the traditional Xamarin approach, what would happen is that you would have this shared C-sharp logic, essentially, the back end of the application, and that would be followed by uh, native UIs developed in the native uh, for these native applications separately. But um, what the Xamarin team essentially realized was that with all of these platforms, while their UIs were developed differently, there were certain common features in all of these. For example, take a button, for example. iOS applications have buttons, Android applications have buttons, and so do, so do Windows UWP applications. So what they did essentially was they developed and released this feature called Xamarin Forms. Um, Xamarin Forms essentially acts as an abstraction between all three of these platforms, these three operating systems, and provides the developer APIs by which they can deploy and create these uh, UI features. So be it buttons, labels, um, text, any of these, they, um, developers can now create shared UIs and shared logics for these applications. And the best part about this is that whether you're working with Windows or Mac, you can develop on both of these platforms and have the code run in the exact same way. You can develop these applications using Visual Studio Code. And since of course it's available for both, that really makes developing Xamarin Forms applications very, very convenient. So I do hope that all of this has made you a little bit more excited about learning Xamarin Forms and getting started with your own application because that is what we're going to be doing next. So the first step now would be to install the Visual Studio IDE if you don't have it on your device already. For this, just go to your browser, um, look up visualstudio.microsoft.com. Yes, that's the website. And uh, uh -huh. Here we have it. So if you check this website, you can see that there is Visual Studio and there's Visual Studio for Mac. You can download the variant that is made for your particular operating system. In case you see Visual Studio here, you will find that there are three variants available. The community version is available free of cost for anyone to download. So go ahead and download that. Now, once you are done installing the Visual Studio IDE, the next step would be to install the libraries necessary to start developing Xamarin Forms applications on your device. For that, what you will have to do is visit the tools bar here, click on Get Tools and Features. This essentially fires up the Visual Studio installer. And as soon as the Visual Studio installer fires up, what you, have, what you will end up seeing is a variety of options for different libraries um, necess necessary for different purposes. Um, out of these, select the mobile development with .NET workload. I, in the interest of time, had installed it beforehand, but 
you should go and install this particular workload as soon as this starts up. Now that we have installed the ID and downloaded the mobile application development workloads, we are ready to begin developing a project. So let's go to file, click on the new uh, button here and start new project. When you click on new on project, you will see that there are a lot of templates available already for you to start developing. Here, let's go click on Xamarin, you know, let's search Xamarin.forms and even within Xamarin.forms, there's a variety of options, whether it's Android applications, iOS, um, just Windows Forms apps. Uh, there's a lot of variety. There's a variety of options that you can choose from. In our case, however, we will choose the basic mobile app. That is the first option available to us. Now, this project uh, can be named whatever you want. I will name it Hello World here since that is the activity that we'll be having today. You can set the location as whatever you want. Me personally, I prefer to save them in a different directory here. So yeah, now as soon as I have set my location, I have named my project, we are ready to begin. So we click, click on create application. Once we do that, we will get the option to select a template for a new mobile app. Now, in the since this is your first activity, I will recommend that we go with a blank application. And you can select the Windows option here as well. Since our app can run on Windows 2, we have kept feature, we haven't kept features which we don't need to keep in Windows. So why not go ahead and select Windows? So click on create. And okay, this is a process that can take a little bit of time sometimes. So let me go ahead and skip ahead. Once a project is created from the template that we had selected earlier, we will see that the IDE has created a lot of different files for us. Um, it has created individual applications for the three different platforms that we selected, as well as the shared code and UI folder. Now we will be primarily working with this shared code base. So go click on the arrow beside hello world. Here you will be able to see the different files within this particular um, shared code base. Now, what I want you to do is go click on main page.xaml. Once you click on this, you will find, um, the, in case the preview is not visible, you can find the vertical split key or you know horizontal depending on whatever you prefer. And what you do here is that you can see that there is a certain template code that has already been written and presented to us. Um, this is something that is done whenever you create a project. It is done to make your work a little easier. We, however, will not be using this particular template code, so we can remove it right now. All right. So now we have an absolutely blank XAML file. What we can do is we can add a little bit of text on our own that says hello world, maybe for example. Um, in this particular app, we're not going to be use, uh, creating very complex UI, so don't worry about that. In fact, you know, if you have a little trouble working with UI on the left hand side, you will see a toolbox which contains a lot of different um, UI controls that you can in fact use. This makes your role a lot easier. In fact, if you know you've set your um, cursor there, just go click on label, for example, and there you can see that it adds that text for us, that content for us in the code as well. So let's go to the label. We have the text attribute available already. Let's add the text that we want to display in our application. In this case, that's hello world. So as soon as I type that, ah, there you see, hello world is made, is available up there on top. Um, I guess, however, this doesn't look the way we want it to. Let's try and align it. Um, as per our own requirement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add certain attributes. Um, horizontal options is one. What this will do is it will allow me to choose where I want to place my um, text in a horizontal manner, of course. So if I wanted to go to the start, if I wanted to go to the end, that is the right side, if I wanted to be in the center. Now, what I want is to place it in the center. 
So that is what I'm going to do. So as soon as I add that, um, you can see that the text has been centered. Another option that I would like you to look at is vertical option, for example. Now, again, in this case, it works similarly as horizontal options, except it considers the vertical. It, it places it according to in considering the height. In. So here again, I will keep center and expand and there behold, our <laughs> text has been centered to the app. Now there are a variety of options. So let's change the font size. For example, we have um, Visual Studio is such a great editor. It shows you all of these options. So let's keep large, for example, or I mean, if I want to change it, I want to keep it title, for example. So there we have it. Um, now, of course, this looks kind of basic, but let's add some functionality to it as well. Now, what I want you to do is beneath label, let's create a button. What this button will essentially do is um, once we add this button, it can, it will be used. We'll use it and we'll add a little bit of a code to the back end. Maybe, you know, display the number of times that the code, the button is being clicked. So yeah, um, in this button, what we'll add is the text click me. Um, since this button is placed below the label, it automatically shows up at the bottom. Again, we can add certain attributes to it. Now, had this, for example, been placed on top, it would have showed up on top. But for our app, let's keep it at the bottom. Now, when we work with this button, I think a good idea maybe would be to you can uh, to give it a name. For that, what you can do is click on X colon name. And for this particular button, we can name it, let's say click. Now, if we are to use this button and connect it with some backend code, what we'll have to do is give it a handler as well. So what I will do here is add a clicked attribute. Now the clicked attribute is used to denote the event handler for this specific button. Since we don't have an existing one, this can create an event handler for us as well. So let's go ahead with that option and once you add the function here, you it what if you visit the backend code for this particular view, you can see that there's a function that's created for us. Now, since we are talking about incrementing the count and displaying it, let's create a global variable int count equal to zero. Whenever the button is clicked, what we can do is we can increment the value of count by one. And let's display that in the text of the button. So for that, what we do is we select the, but the button that is sending this particular command. Um, as we've added this little line, what we can now do is access the attributes of this particular button. So we select the text attribute and let's change the text content here. So let's say, for example, you Clicked. Um, count. Yeah, we need the count variable here. Definitely count times. And there we have a little hello world application. Now, of course, what app is anything if it's not tested? So we can actually test the app within the Android emulator here. Um, for my device, I had the emulator installed already. In case you don't, if you're installing the IDE for the first time, you will get an option to start up the, to install the SDE and the emulator. So yes, right now I'm running the application in debug mode. So as you can see, there's a whole debug log coming up and there we have the application. Now, if I click here, you can see that these changes are being made on the app. So yes, our hello world application is ready. So yeah, I hope you had a good time working and developing um, your first ever Xamarin Forms application. 
if you did follow through with this tutorial with this session worked alongside me coded in your visual studio ide and were able to get the app to run successfully well then congratulations on developing your first ever xamarin forms app now if you think this was a exciting fun experience for you and you'd like to explore xamarin forms more experiment with this technology make your own apps and just have a little bit of fun then i do have some resources for you please do check out the learn resources from .net as well as the microsoft learn path on building mobile apps with xamarin forms also if you'd like to check out the code for this particular app in case you had some trouble developing it or just otherwise as well um, the github repo for this code is available at the top so yeah that's it from my side hope you had a good time now if you have any doubts or any queries feel free to mention in the comments in this particular video otherwise yeah have a great day thank you so much for attending bye bye